Uh, let's start off uh, with the increase, of course, in debt when it comes to Atu River Mining, of course, uh, big expansion plans on the way forward. But we know that your interest expense uh, has been one of the big issues and, of course, uh, has perhaps dragged profits down. When do you think that this is going to come under control? Well, our expansion in Kenya is completed. Uh, we have commissioned the uh, doubling of the capacity in Kenya. Our Tanzanian project is underway. We should be commissioning the Dar es Salaam plant in, by the end of next year. And we should be commissioning the Klinka plant in Tanga by mid-2012. Mm. So all the borrowings required for completing the expansion in Kenya are complete. Uh, we won't be borrowing any more monies in Kenya. The funding for the Tanzanian project is complete. Uh, I don't see any increase on the borrowings there. So going forward, I think by uh, going forward, we will see that our leveraging would not increase uh, significantly from the levels which you see them today. Mm. Well, once you have your financing costs uh, under control, of course, uh, going forward, as you say, a new expansion and your uh, new projects that are set to come on stream relatively soon. Uh, let's look at your cost-cutting measures because it's, it's quite interesting that you're using coal and mines. Uh, you're, you are also mine your own clinker. So that basically ensures that you are saving on the energy front. Do you expect these savings to continue down the line? Are you going to be embarking on the same strategy when it comes to your new uh, um, clinker plants perhaps going forward in the other regions? Absolutely so. Uh, we run one of the most energy efficient plants in this part of the world. Our in energy consumption is probably the lowest. It's the same technology which is being applied in Tanzania. So going forward, all our uh, cement plants would probably be uh, meeting the international standards when it comes to energy consumption. Now, as far as the clinker is concerned, clinker is a product which is manufactured from limestone, iron ore, aluminum and shale. Now, we have our own mines for all these products. Even in Tanzania, we are going to be mining these products ourselves. And when we convert it into clinker, we hope to be one of the lowest cost producers of clinker in the region. Mm -hmm. uh, two reasons for that. One is, of course, the technology, which uh, we, we have one of the best and we are earmarked to the best in the industry. And the second reason is that we have full control on the value chain of the raw materials. This should make us one of the lowest cost producers of clinker as well as one of the lowest cost producers of cement in the region. Mm. Uh, in terms of uh, production and capacity when it comes to the production of clinker, are you planning to start uh, embarking on selling these products going forward as well? You see, the, uh, the maximum uh, profit or the maximum contribution comes out when you convert your clinker into cement and sell the cement to the uh, market. Going forward, we have the option. Our first option is to convert the entire clinker into cement and sell it into the local market. Should there be a capacity constraint, then most of the other manufacturers in the region are actually importing clinker. They don't manufacture the clinker themselves. An option for us would be to sell our clinker to the other manufacturers if the market does not grow as we have anticipated. Well, you're talking about being relatively cost effective and you're going to be one of the most cost effective cement producers in the region. Uh, give us an indication of what margins we're looking at here. You see, in, uh, in the cement business, uh, cement is a capital intensive business and therefore the gross margins which you need uh, to keep should be in line with the investments which you have to do. Now, it is typical to have uh, about 25% gross margin in the cement business. That's just to cover your costs of the capital intensive investment which you have to do to put in the, uh, the capacity. Uh, our margins are as good as, uh, as in the industry. We are close to that uh, mark. And uh, as I said, we are one of the most cost effective producers. That gives us a slight leeway of being not only competitive in the market, but also having a slightly better gross margin than the industry would normally have. Just looking at your market share at this point in time, reports tell us that you've got around 10% market share of the, of the local market and you're basically behind the likes of, say, Bamburi and EAPCC. Uh, what kind of market share are you looking at right now? We do know that you do plan to uh, grow your cement output to around 5 million tonnes per, per year by 2016. We have doubled our capacity in Kenya. In, capa in Kenya today, we have a capacity of 750,000 tonnes per annum. Now that makes us, uh, that would probably give us a market share of about 15% in Kenya. Uh, we would grow from 10 to 15% in Kenya. Mm -hmm. In Tanzania, we would be putting up a 1.5 million tons capacity, which would be operational by mid-2012. Uh, by uh, 2016, we would probably have 25% of the East African market. 25% uh, is a reasonable market share. Uh, and uh, we are talking of the entire region, which is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and the other countries.
Mm. All right, let's also just touch on competition. I mean, obviously, you're talking about profitability. Uh, what about in, in terms of what you're selling to the market at this point in time? Uh, you spoke about your margins a little earlier. How do you see the competitive environment playing out, given the fact that infrastructure spend is one of the key strategies going forward for many of these governments? Yes, uh, infrastructure, we expect the infrastructure to grow. Uh, infrastructure investment in Kenya as well as Tanzania and Uganda has virtually just started. The housing sector is going rapidly. Uh, going forward, we expect the cement markets to grow significantly. We expect it to be a double-digit growth. Uh, in terms of the competition, uh, yes, all the other, there are a number of new competitors coming in. Going forward, the uh, market dynamics are going to change. The supply and the demand side the equations are going to change. But what we uh, expect going forward is that companies which are efficient in their operations, companies which have a competitive edge in cost, those are the companies which are going to be successful. Those are the companies which will be able to maintain their market shares as well as their profitability.